Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you Oh My ZSH. Now, Oh My ZSH, like it says here, is an open source community driven framework for managing your ZSH configuration. And now, uh, what does that mean, right? So ZSH is Z shell. Um, it's basically an alternative to using bash and it's a powerful scripting language, right? So basically, um, you're, when you type in your commands in, in terminal, usually you're using bash, right? But ZSH is just a little bit different. And in fact, if you've seen some tutorials and their terminal is looking like this with a whole bunch of helpful information, like this particular theme is telling you uh, not only what directory, but what branch you're on, right, for your Git repo. And these themes are actually uh, not just, you know, color schemes, but there are a whole lot of useful information as well. Now there's also plugins for Oh My ZSH that do all sorts of awesome auto completion and uh, and ZSH as a whole with Oh My ZSH is just a really desirable experience. It, it does some insane auto completing for you. Um, and it, I, I find it to just really, really boost my productivity. In fact, when I have to go back to using Bash, I'm usually quite upset. Uh, just because I, I've grown so, so accustomed to using Oh My ZSH. So um, what we want to do is we want to run this automatic installer and basically we can just copy and paste this curl command right here and I'm going to paste it right into my terminal and it's going to go ahead and download it and looks like it's telling us I need to agree to this license if you have Xcode installed uh, I, I guess I do I don't need or I need to uh, run another command here and uh, what I could do is I could simply open up Xcode and agree to their um, their permissions and everything like that, or I can just run this sudo xcrun.cc command, and it's basically going to uh, bring up their license agreement. Um, yeah, okay, hit enter. Okay, let's hit Q for quit, okay. Now by typing agree, I'm agreeing to it. Now I'm just going to rerun this curl command. Now you can see it's cloning in and basically uh, it's asking for my password and it looks like oh my ZSH has installed. Cool, so it changed my shell and uh, you'll notice this doesn't look any different though. Now it only starts using ZSH or Z shell once you've restarted your terminal window. So I'm going to head, go ahead and close this window and now reopen up iTerm. And now you'll notice that it looks different, right? We have this arrow and uh, this tilde and this is based on the theme that we're using. Now you might be wondering, okay, we installed this, this looks a little bit different, but will my commands that I'm used to running still work? LS, it still works. Now you just get a nice theme and pretty much every single command you go to run is going to be just like you remember it. Now, what happens if we wanna configure this? Well, I'm gonna be making uh, another video where I show you a little bit more in depth on how to configure figure oh my uh, oh my zsh but we can type in ls hyphen la and i'm in my user directory right now my current user directory and you'll see this file dot zshrc now dot zshrc is where all of the magic if our configuration happens if we just say vim dot zshrc you can see that this is what the configuration file looks like. Uh, it's telling us where the theme is or what theme we're using. And of course, um, we will show you how to use different themes. Um, it's showing you basically alias examples so you can write your own aliases, which I highly suggest you do. I will show you a couple of the aliases that I like to use. And down here we have plugins. Right now, the git plugin is the only plugin we're using. Now, notice we have 
plugins formats, you can just enter them as text here. And it tells you that the various available plugins can be found here. So check those out. And you can simply just add them to this file in that format if you like. But we're going to talk about that in another video too. So I'm going to get out of here by hitting escape and then uh, colon w or colon just q and then i'm out so now i'm using zsh with oh my zsh and uh and and i can take advantage of all of the great features that it allows so as always this is scott with level up tuts if you have any questions or comments leave a comment in the video hit us up at twitter or facebook uh i know that installing uh oh my zsh can sometimes be a little bit tricky but uh this is a brand new system it's running mavericks and you could see with relatively little issue i had a xcode issue but other than running that that command it worked so if you're having errors or something po uh, post them in the comments or google them i'm sure many other people have had those errors as well so check it out try out oh my zsh i'm a big fan and it's one of the first things i set up when i get a new computer so as always this is scott with level up tuts if you have any questions or comments please leave a comment in the video or hit us up at twitter or facebook uh, or the level up forum let us know what you think we'd love to hear from you thanks for watching and tutorial videos are going to resume again this week so check it out many more videos on the way as always 